Wallace. Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of RC Adventure Buddies. Today, I wanna to show you how to get into FPV, which is first person view if you don't know what that is, or flying with goggles for super cheap, super fun, and really good results. First of all, let me show you what I have here. This is an uh, X450 drone slash airplane I ordered from Banggood for $125 on sale. Comes with a radio and this nifty, back up a little, this nifty little drone. Forget this part. It's like a little airplane. It comes with a battery. I would order an extra battery or two when I order this. Okay. So then what I did was I chopped the nose off of it and I mounted a run cam split S mini. It also has Wi-Fi as you can see and it takes an SD card, which I'll install right now. And this will be the camera we use to view with. Okay. So I wired all that into the power supply for the camera and down underneath here, I have a small transmitter with an antenna on it. Okay. I have a pair of fat chart, uh, goggles. They're the inexpensive ones. They do make less expensive ones. These were under 200. You can get them for around hundred dollars for a really nice pair. So what happens is what, just keep filming that. I'll show you what happens is, let me grab it. When we put a battery into this, you'll see the drone wakes up and so do all the camera, the batteries and everything on the camera. We'll turn on the remote, we'll bind it. Now it's ready to fly. So then I'll turn on my fat sharks and in a moment they'll come on here. Hold on. Okay. You gonna stick in there, show? And you should be seeing a view from out of the camera. There you go. Okay. Now you'll notice I have the camera pointed slightly down. For me, that's easier. You can show me too. I'm going to put on my goggles. I'll take the drone and we'll go outside and we'll go for a little flight. And we'll show you the footage that I filmed with the drone today. Now for me, it's easier to sit down so I don't get dizzy and fall down. and we'll launch the drone. Pretty windy today, so I'm not gonna get too far crazy. So I'm gonna turn it around, and you should be able to see Sasha and myself sitting in front of our garage. Okay. The cool thing I like about this drone, other than being inexpensive, is it does a nifty trick. We can shift it into airplane mode. Now I'm flying it like an airplane. And it's super fast and it's super quiet. Now in my goggles, I have a perfect view of what I'm seeing outside here. I don't know if you can even see the airplane because it's so far away, but, the, but the, the vision is good. There's our shop coming in on it. You should see us come over here. We'll turn around. And then I'll get back over here in the corner of my property again. And I'm going to throw it up into drone mode again. Now she's flying like a drone again. And as you see, can you see the drone up there, Saj? Yep. Okay. So I'm going to bring it down a little lower so we get a little more interesting view. Maybe I'll show a little bit of the, there's my neighbor's house. There's my house. Here's Sasha and myself again. Little wind is carrying me away a little bit. I'll just tip into it a little here. Now I'm seeing all this in my goggles as well. And I have an SD card in here. So if Sasha wants to add what my goggle view looks like versus the, the view from the drone, which is crystal clear and beautiful, that run split S camera is a super nice, super nice camera for this. But the nice thing about this whole deal is this entire setup 
including if you were to buy a cheap set of goggles, you're into it for around $300 tops. And uh, it allows you to fly FPV, first person view. And you can see I can turn the drone around and show you know everything I'm looking at. Go a little higher here. Come over those trees, there you go. It's a little windy, I wish it wasn't so windy, I'd be a little braver with it, but I'm still a pretty new drone pilot myself, still learning how to fly. So every time I fly, I get a little better and a little braver. So just to show you again, we'll grab some altitude real quick. Maybe we will. Oh, I think she wants to land. So we'll just bring it around and land. I won't try to go into airplane mode again. I think our battery might be getting, it may not have been a fully charged battery. Let's see if she'll go up. Let's turn her. Oh yeah, she's climbing up. It's because I'm pushing away. Let's put her back in airplane mode. Here we go, back into airplane mode. And she's locked into airplane mode. And it's really fast in airplane mode. And it's actually a really nice flying airplane here. We'll do a little S turn here. Turn back around towards the house. And this airplane, this airplane has gyro stabilizers and all sorts of nice computer software to make it really easy to fly. You can put it in professional mode, which I don't recommend if you're doing FPV. Let, let the technology help you. That's kind of my theory on it. We're still in uh, airplane mode here. Making a nice fast pass. Pull up a little bit. We'll turn around again. Now, when I flip this back into drone mode, I want to kind of be facing my house. I don't want to put it in drone mode and have to figure out where I am. Make sure you're familiar with where you are and that it's okay with your neighbors if you overfly their house like I'm doing. Oh, I think I went the wrong way. I put it into tail sitting mode. It does that too, by the way. It'll stand on its tail. Okay, let's see if we can get this turkey down. It's getting windy. There's the shop heading in for a landing this time. So I'll throttle back to about just under half. It'll start coming down. If you put the throttle right at half, it'll hold that altitude. And if you go higher, it will go up. Coming down. And of course my phone's ringing as I'm flying my drone, but they'll just have to wait. Real we got it back in one piece, no problems. Let's go shut her down. Quick, we just did a quick FPV flight. No fuss, no muss. Less than $300 all in. And I am not an expert drone pilot by any experience. I've been flying RC for like 30 years. And drones are all new to me. This is an extremely, extremely cheap and cheesy way to do it. But if you want to get into FPV and you know don't want to spend a lot of money, or maybe you want to try it out before you spend more money on a more fancy drone, this is an excellent way to start. So, like I said, I got the drone from Banggood. That's, if you don't know what that is, it's a, a, a company in China that sells everything. It's kind of like Chinese Amazon. So you just go to the RC section, look up uh, hovering airplane or whatever, It'll come up. There's several to choose from. There's a couple. I've never used any other. This is the only one I can recommend. I've had very little trouble with it. It's very beat up. I've had it for quite a while. That's why I decided to do this conversion. I ordered the run split cam from Flight Test. Uh, it was about $72 for that. And the goggles, I don't remember where I got them. And they were under $200. So pretty good, pretty good bargain. When you consider like a Mavic Mini is four or $500 to get in. That's actually what I'm gonna step into next, but this is what I've been flying up till then to decide I like FPV. So remember, if you like this video and you like anything about it, if you've got constructive criticism, I'm up for that. Maybe you point the camera at me. <laughs> uh, this is just something my son and I are doing for fun. So uh, like I said, be sure you subscribe and like it and uh, give us some feedback. We'd like to hear what you think about it. Thanks a lot.